What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys saw um, the video where Shane and I went to the scrapyard because today I'm gonna install the parts that I got from the scrap. All right guys, so I got three things from the scrap, just little tiny things. Um, my engine cover is supposed to have this uh, emblem on it, but it doesn't, so I picked this up from the scrap. And then my dipstick's also broken in the engine bay, so uh, I got that. And then on my interior, on the door, there is a red light that's supposed to be on there, and this is my original one, but it's uh, it's broken. So I got this from the scrap, and I already installed it, because there wasn't much to show. All you have to do is literally just put in the connection so there wasn't much to film but these two I am gonna paint today so so if you guys look closely you'll see some blue in the background that that's because the symbol was blue and white before but I painted it black um, so basically I'm just gonna touch it up because it's super hard to get in all the creases um, with painting it so I I put tape all over it and then I used a knife and cut out all the sections so that's as close as I got um, it's pretty hard to make it perfect but I'm gonna touch it up with black marker because from far in the engine bay like you're not gonna see the blue lines so you're gonna see like the blue dots so that's good enough and then I'm also going to now that the black paint is dry I'm gonna use um, red paint and make the white part uh, red so basically my whole car theme is black and red so that's why I'm going with the black and red um, if this doesn't work out, it was only $4, so if it looks bad, then I won't put it on, but if it turns out well, I'm going to use it, and, um, yeah, and then I'm also painting this dipstick red to go with the red accents. Yeah, so hopefully it'll kind of use as an accent piece in the engine bay. So my sister was helping me out um, yesterday when I was painting this. Yeah, and I was actually able to get some behind the scenes footage of him on my phone spray painting the sign. So we'll insert that right so now. So we'll put that up right here. So before I get to the painting, I'm going to show you guys the little light that I installed. Um, it just cleans up the interior a little. Alright guys, so this is the light that I installed here. Um, the other side has it too. And it was kind of bugging me that this was just gone. So... It was, wasn't here, so the connection was there, but um, the light was actually broken, my original one. So yeah, I just put that up just to clean it up. Alright guys, so I'm literally just using um, a Sharpie to touch it up. As you can see in this section right here, there's no more blue. So the Sharpie covers it up pretty good, so I'll finish that and then we'll get on to the red. Alright guys, now that I finished up the Sharpie, um, it's looking super good. You don't really see any blue marks and especially from far It'll be like far away in the engine bay. So especially from far you don't see any blue bits and it's coming along really good now Let's get on to the red So guys what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna let it dry just for a little bit more and I think I'm gonna move on to the dipstick while this is still drying All right guys before I paint this dipstick um, I put tape on it just to tape up the areas that I don't want painted and basically I gave it a little clean up so just to allow the paint to stick as best as possible. Alright guys, so I did the first coat. You still see a little bit of orange but this is just a light coat just to get the base and then I'm going to go thicker with my either second or third coat. I'm going to go thicker. Alright guys, so make sure you shake the can very well. Um, so the bottle says to do uh, two light coats and then one medium coat. So the first one was our light coat. I'm going to do another light coat and then the last one will be the heavy one. Alright guys, so now for the final coat. I'm going to go a little bit thicker. Um, so yeah, this should be the last one. Is 
that satisfying or is that just me? Comment down below if you think that's satisfying. Alright guys, so the final coat is done. So now I'm going to let that dry and time to move on to that symbol. Alright guys, so now it's the time to get started on the symbol. So basically this is what I do. I, I put the tape down and then I take a knife and I trace out the parts. And I, I cut out the part that I don't need painted. So I'm cutting out the black areas right now and then... Yeah, that's how I that's how I cut it out for um, the black part. So yeah. All right, guys. So basically, my sister she puts the tape on and she's tracing it with a pencil, and then cuts it out and puts it as best as possible on uh, the black areas. Um, and then whatever excess tape is on the white areas, I basically I carve it out, and then just to get it as neat as possible. So yeah, it's, it's coming along pretty well. It takes time, but as long as you have patience, it, it should work out. Well guys, finally, uh, we, we finished taping it that up. That only took forever. That took, like, quite An a hour. bit, but um, <laughs> it takes patience, so hopefully, hopefully this turns out good. But um, if it doesn't, who I'm cares? Gonna be <laughs> if it doesn't, who cares? It's only four bucks from the scrap, so. Alright guys, so pretty much the same thing as a dipstick. I'm gonna do maybe one or two light coats and then a heavy coat. Alright guys, so for the last coat, we're going to do just a slightly thicker one, not not too thick, slightly thicker one, and then we're done. Alright guys, so it's the next morning, and uh, I peeled off all the tape, and as you guys can see, there is a little bit of white left over, so I'm going to do the same thing um, like I did before, and use a Sharpie and touch it up, and hopefully it turns out good. Well guys, this is it. This is how it turned out. It looks okay. I don't know if I'm going to put it on though. I, I'm going to see how it looks. If it looks kind of cheap, then I, I'm not going to put it on. But yeah, it was worth a try. So now that this is done, um, I'm going to peel off the tape for the dipstick. The dipstick came out very well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the paint job on the dipstick. So if this doesn't work out, then at least we still have this. Guys, I'm very happy with the way um, the dipstick turned out because um, it looks really good, and I hope and I hope that um, it gives some nice red accents in my engine bay. Um, I also got some more um, red stuff coming for the engine bay. I got a um, a red strut bar that I'm gonna put on soon when I get it. So hopefully this just kind of spices up the engine bay just a little. All right, guys, time to take out the old dipstick and install the new one. All right, guys, so this is the original one. As you guys can see, it's like literally broken um, yeah so that's why I got this one and uh, the red would look so good so let's take it out alright guys so here's the difference with the new and the old um, I don't know how the old one broke but it did so yeah the new one should look good alright guys so there it is gives it a nice red accent to match the intake um, this is the symbol I don't know if it turned out that well it kind of looks like a little kid painted it but, painted yeah it, but. so I I don't think I'm gonna put that on there but it looks good from far but I don't know I don't know if I'll keep that on there probably not the dipstick looks so good though I'm happy with that one alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here I hope you enjoyed uh, me painting my dipstick and the symbol. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the symbol on the engine cover yet, but we'll we'll see. I'll make a decision. And uh, I just want to get more red accents, so I have more stuff coming. Um, I got a strut bar coming, so we'll see. More stuff is coming, more red accents. So thank you guys for watching.
the wasp. It got. It went in. Like it went in. I felt it, Matt. Well, now he's dead, though. No, wasps don't die. Only bees die. Well, is that still recording? <laughs>